hey guys welcome to the my channel today i would like to explain you about the basics of vehicle dynamics let's uh, go through the basic concepts so uh, vehicle dynamics term it is the combination of two words you can say vehicle and dynamics okay dynamics uh, we can uh, understand like uh, it is the study of uh, forces and its effect okay forces and their effects it is the study of vehicles where we need to consider the forces affecting the vehicles motion and the effect which is generated due to due to the forces now, regardless they are internal forces or they are external forces so considering the vehicle dynamics we need to understand the particular uh, systems okay which are contributing which are contributing something into the study of vehicle dynamics so uh, first we have to look for the broad broader classification so vehicle is broadly classified into three major groups of course uh, vehicle is classified into number of uh, systems but considering the vehicle dynamics we are broadly classifying the vehicle into three module okay first we can say power module second chassis module and third body module in concern with the vehicle dynamics this power module can again be classified into the number of systems which are affecting the uh, study of vehicle dynamics first uh, we need to understand the engine we need to understand we need to consider the transmission system we need to consider the final drive and at last we need to consider the wheels okay likewise the chassis module can be classified into two groups we can consider the steering module and the brakes braking system and the third major classification it is body module first we need to understand the basic requirement of a vehicle to understand the dynamic the behavior of a vehicle so of course it is to carry the people but apart from this a vehicle while designing a vehicle while doing a study of the vehicle's dynamic we need to concern about the safety of occupants comfort of the uh, uh, occupants and fuel economy now while dealing with the vehicle dynamic uh, we are not focusing uh, much on the economic part so broadly we can say that the vehicle dynamics in a major uh, way we can say vehicle dynamics it is the concern for safety and comfort and second important point that we need to keep in mind that vehicle has to listen to the driver appropriately okay now this means uh, vehicle has to produce the output as intended by the driver simple now considering the requirements of vehicle to study the vehicle dynamics we can adapt two methods okay either we can study the vehicle dynamics by the empirical methods and we can go with the analytical methods now in empirical method we need to assume uh, we need to requ we require some basic assumptions with the help of certain assumptions we we are considering some parameters and then on the basis of assumptions we are producing some output results and if the output results they are not as predicted then again we have to remodify so again we need to modify the input parameters or we need to change the uh, or parameter so we can say that empirical method it is a trial and error method which sometimes lead to the failure 
and that's why in the most of the cases the analytical method method proves its importance in the study of vehicle dynamics now in the analytical method we need to understand the mathematical modeling the different the varieties of the differential equations to generate the mathematical modeling we need some inputs and with the help of mathematical models we are producing some outputs now inputs that means we can consider the inputs provided by the driver in case of a vehicle dynamics driver provides input either in terms of the uh, at steering wheel you can consider at brakes you can consider at uh, acceleration pedals and as output you can consider the uh, the intended output of a vehicle okay for example we are considering that if vehicle driver applies a brake then vehicle vehicle has to stop at certain distance okay which must be intended by the driver so this is the basic fundamental of vehicle dynamics now as i said uh, the, the whole process can be explain with the help of this block diagram too the driver is providing some input to the vehicle the vehicle is producing some response and if the response are not as uh, demanded by the driver then the feedback with the help of this feedback the driver modifies the input controls okay now apart from this apart from this we need to analyze the effect okay effect generated due to the responses okay here effect uh, we are not considering the effect of forces and uh, we can say res uh, response effect okay we need to consider the effect generated on the occupants on the drivers drivers and the passengers okay we need to consider the effect on the occupants okay so uh, to study the vehicle dynamics we had one mathematical modeling approach okay which we are calling it the lump mass approach in the lump mass approach we are considering that our vehicle is made of number of subsystems and these all subsystems they are, they have their own masses these all masses we are assuming to be concentrated at a single point which is known as a center of gravity so in a lump mass approach we assume that the whole mass of a body Your body is a vehicle, so whole mass of a vehicle it is concentrated at single point, and we are considering the effect of forces, whether they are internal or external. Okay. We are considering the forces and the effect generated at the center of gravity point. So this is called the lump mass approach. Now, SAE Society of Automotive Engineers have has prescribed. one uh, method by which they suggest the fixed coordinate system of a vehicle now in that particular method they prescribe the fixed coordinates of any vehicle so according to the sa we can say the longitudinal direction which is passing through the lengthwise of a vehicle it is always indicated by x perpendicular to the longitudinal axis we have one another axis which is called the lateral axis and it is always indicated by y perpendicular to the x and y both axis we have another axis which is known as a vertical axis and it is always indicated by z with respect to this three axis the effect of forces which are acting on the vehicle can be measured with the help of moments generated 
so the moments generated about the longitudinal axis it is called rolling moment i am again repeating the moment which is generated about the longitudinal axis is known as a rolling moment the moment which is generated about the lateral axis it is always known as a pitching moment and likewise the moment generated about the vertical axis it is known as a yawing moment always as he has fixed this coordinate system to study the vehicles dynamics so if we are talking about the axis and the moments we have to stick with the this system for example if we are saying that the vehicle is moving in the positive x that means vehicle is moving in a forward direction if the vehicle's movement it is indicated by negative x that means our vehicle is moving in the reverse direction this is the axis methodology which is prescribed by the assay now this figure indicates the earth fixed coordinate system and the relation between the vehicle's fixed coordinate system and the earth's fixed coordinate system now for a particular moment we are assuming that our vehicle is moving and we are intend to take a turn in the right hand side direction so here small x projected it indicates the direction of a vehicle before we intend to take a turn and this dotted line indicates the vehicle's path after taking a turn okay. here we are considering a center of gravity cg point and this axis and this axis they indicates the vehicle's coordinates the earth's fixed coordinate x and the vehicle's projected longitudinal axis small x the angle between this two x it is known as a heading angle i am again repeating the earth's fixed coordinate system and the angle between the earth fixed coordinate system and the small x which is known as a projected direction of a vehicle this angle is known as a heading angle and it is always indicated by psi the angle between the projection of instantaneous velocity and the earth fixed coordinate x is known as a course angle which is always indicated by nu the angle between the projection of instantaneous velocity and vehicle's path it is indicated by side slip angle which is always indicated by beta please subscribe to this channel and click on the bell button thank you